Greetings, ladies and gentlefish, and welcome to the subscriber replay, courtesy of British, British, British P. And he is driving the captured Panzer B2. Now, a couple of things to note about this replay before we get going. Firstly, in this game, British is in the SIG clan and pr platooned up with Captain Cyan and NZX T911. Oh my God! Um, since then, the SIG clan has kind of gone away. Um, but either way, he's now with the British Centurions. So, change of clan. The other thing is that I'm... There's two reasons I'm showing this. One is because of the end result, uh, which we'll get to in a bit. And two is because of the tank. This is the Panzer B2. This is not a, she uh, a machine. A machine that you see that often. It's a premium German heavy tank. It's a captured French Char B1. Um, it gets very limited matchmaking, i.e. it only sees tier 4 games. And it um, has a really weird crew layout. One commander, one driver or gunner or something, and two radio operators, which is kind of awkward if you're trying to use it to train your German uh, heavy tank crews. It is also a seal clubber's wet dream. Um, and in fact, you can see here the British has his tank loaded out with nothing but APCR. Some of you may be shaking your head in disgust, but it is worth pointing out the regular armor-piercing ammo gets 55 pen, the APCR gets 90. And so even with APCR, there are plenty of targets at tier 4, and I'm thinking primarily of Matildas and Valentines and AMX 40s here that you'll struggle to penetrate. But, um... I guess at least you won't see tier 5 or tier 6 tanks unless you platoon in a silly manner. And then you can see British is bouncing shots off his bum because this is quite a well armoured tank. Now this is a very, very expensive way to play this machine. Um, <laughs> Birch gun there hits him with that puny little howitzer and does no damage, just damages his tracks. Like I say, this is a very expensive way to play this tank. Now I actually also own one of these. Uh, a massive shout out to Cartoon Villain. Uh, he actually um, effectively gifted me uh, one of these machines. I didn't have it before because this is no longer regularly available in the premium shop. And so it only comes out on some special occasions or as a reward for some competitions or if um, a mate of yours manages to get hold of a code or something. And I have no idea how he managed to get hold of that. I really haven't got a clue. Um, and gives it to you and so massive thank you to Cartoon Villain for giving me the Panzer B2. I have played some games in mine so far I wouldn't claim I'm a particularly good Panzer B2 driver possibly because I don't like using APCR too much um, but I'm getting better uh, I will get there. Um, and so uh, owning one myself but not particularly being very good in it and not having played that many games in it so far it's interesting to see how other ple people I'm sorry, I really cannot get my tongue around English today, apparently. It's interesting to see how other people play this machine. So, there was a bounce with APCR on the mightiest of machines, the M3 Lee. Yeah, I know, go figure. So far, this has been a rather... Uh, not a particularly exciting game. And interestingly, British just there put a shot into the Valentine 2. Now, the Valentine 2 is a Soviet light tank. It's one of the Lendlease machines. And it's the other tank in the game that gets really special matchmaking and only sees Tier 4 machines because it has this garbage little gun. It's not technically the same gun, but it's a very, very similar weapon. All these shots, and so far British hasn't taken a single point of actual damage. Make of that what you will. So, Valentine 2, British is able to put his shots in. Although not all of them are penetrating. We had a bounce there. Um, and the scoreline is 4-5. Now just to note, British is platoon mates. Um, we've got Captain Cyan has made it down to the uh, enemy capture circle. And the Valentine 2, I'm sorry, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name, is uh, on the mid ridge close to where British was. But British has paid attention to his minimap and seen that his team have completely lost the other side of the map, the one on the other side of the train tracks. So British is going to go back and defend it like a boss. Well, hopefully like a boss. Um, we shall see. 
D2 is another tier 4 heavy tank. That one does not get quite such premium matchmaking as this machine, but it still gets some limited matchmaking so that it never sees tier 6 games and is generally considered to be a massive pile of garbage. So we've got the DW2. The only way he's going to penetrate British really is by loading APCR. We've got another Panzer B2 on the enemy team, and that's an LTP. So British put a shot into the Panzer, put one there into the... Um, DW2 and now they're working over this LTP who manages to get away with a sliver of his health remaining and these tanks now are gonna have a bit of a difficult time pushing across um, this railway embankment because British is in the way if he weren't here they could happily move over this and it wouldn't be a problem British there is going for the tracking shots which is not a, a dumb idea at all by holding this guy in place, other people can shoot him. One more shot will finish this fellow off. And the friendly, or his platoon mate in the Valentine 2 takes him out. And then takes out the LTP. So that's six. Make that seven as Cyan nails the enemy artillery. Kills between the platoon. M8A1 is being rather aggressive. And these guys still haven't taken the hint that going over this ridgeline is a terrible, terrible idea. And M8A1 is exposing himself, not like that. <laughs> and there's also the M3 Lee here, which is actually not trivial to penetrate. You do have to pick your shots carefully, even with 90 pen with these APCR rounds. So, moving up here. There we go, there's a shot into the M8A1. The M8A1 is capable of penetrating him, as you just saw there. And British finally takes some actual damage. Um, bouncing a shot there from the Panzer B2 behind him. M3 Lee goes into his tracks and British is just pummeling the M3 Lee and ignoring the Panzer B2 behind him, which is not a terrible idea because the armour of the Panzer B2 is pretty uniform all over and the M3 Lee has a better gun. So, Panzer B2. Looks like he might also now be firing APCR. Can't really blame him. And that was the game, and if you notice, just there at the end in chat, the MAA1 was saying pay to win Panzer B2. Well, yeah, deal with it. That was the game. So let's go and have a look at the results. Now, generally speaking, I try to avoid showing these sorts of replays um, because I don't feel right encouraging people to go out and do what is very obviously seal clubbing. But in this particular occasion, I thought I would show it because that is a crucial contribution and you don't see too many of those. Uh, I have, I think, one of those to my name. I showed the replay in which I got that over a year ago now. It's quite a long time ago. But overall, British got first class mastery, fire for effect. What is it actually called? Shell proof. That's the name of the medal. Duelist, bruiser, high caliber, brothers in arms as well, and that crucial contribution. Um, so I thought it was worth showing for that. He finished top of his team by experience or by damage done. Although, in terms of XP, Captain Cyan also had a very nice game. Um, they had exactly 12 kills between the platoon mates. And British got 1,330 damage. Which, when you consider that gun does like, what, 40, 50 alpha damage per shot is quite nice. If, however, you look at this score screen, you will see 50 shots fired, 37 hits, 28 pens for that damage count. 793 damage blocked by his armor, which is very good for a low tier game. 40,000 credits in ammo resupply costs, which means that despite making a 28,000 credit, uh, despite making a revenue of 28,000 credits, British actually lost 13,000 credits. Somewhat I find a little depressingly, he would have made a profit with a premium account. But let's leave my opinions on that to one side. 1,091 base experience. Um, include the premium bonus and you get 1,644 uh, experience plus a bit of free XP. With a premium account that would clearly have been even more. So, like I say, don't expect me to show a lot of these low tier games that are very clearly kind of seal clubbing. I mean, he was loaded out with completely APCR there. Um, yeah. But I will show, uh, I sh thought I'd show this one because you don't see that many uh, crucial contributions and it's always nice to see one of those. And I believe this was uh, British's first crucial contribution and I haven't checked, it might still be his only, I don't know, I think I've only got one. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that replay. If you did, please feel free to catch some of my other videos and or subscribe to my channel. And I wish you very happy hunting on that battlefield. Ciao, ciao.